uh, mental health issues. It's really weird. They have alcoholism if alcohol is in, in, introduced into their environments. But other than that, when they don't have that, like Happy People, Life in the Taiga, did you ever see that documentary? No. It's uh, Werner Herzog's documentary on these people that live in Siberia. And all these guys do is live off the land. All they do is hunt and fish and, and trap. And, you know, they're trapping furs, and that's how they buy, like, snowmobiles and, you know, hatchets and shit like that. But the, the majority of their time is just shooting animals, eating them, fishing, and everybody's happy as fuck. There's a whole village of people that are so happy. They're just smiling and laughing. There's, like, no disputes. Everybody's just working together to try to get meat. You know, they're showing how to, like, like the, the craftsmanship involved in making these snowshoes and sleds. They make their own skis. I mean, it's really, really interesting because in the absence of that real day-to-day -day struggle that these people have, we're almost like, we, we're like waiting for something to come along and kick us in the ass. It's almost like we only react by nature instead of act in some ways. Well, you know, I'm actually fascinated by that stuff too, Joe. I, I'm fascinated by tribal cultures. Yeah. And, uh, but you know, there's no going back to that. No, no, and no, no. At some point, there was an invention happened, and the invention was the individual. And once that was invented, I think the ancient Greeks invented it somewhere around, you know, the time of uh, Socrates and before that. And at that point, we no longer had the tribe. You know, we no longer had that wonderful uh, thing enveloping us. Right. But, but the other, you know, if you also if you look about look at Afghanistan, you know, which is a great place for us to to study because we see it in the news and we've had seen it, which is like in Pashtunistan, you get kind of pretty much tribal culture the way it was way 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 back when. And I'm also like when I was talking about reading about the Comanches a little while ago. The other thing, one of the things about tribes is they are unbelievably cruel to whoever, if they capture anybody else or if there's anyone who violates the tribe, uh, you know, it's not such an idyllic world when you get into that side of it. Wait a minute, you, know? you mean it's not like Avatar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that not? was the side they left out of in, in Avatar. Of course. But yeah. it, it's almost like that's a, it's almost a cheat code to happiness, you know, that mm -hmm. kind of simple life where you're doing, you're constantly yeah. out there doing. This world where it's it's just we don't know what the hell to do and we don't have action as this kind of through line in our life of, okay, got to go achieve that next goal, which is meat, that next goal, right. which is fish, that next goal, which is shelter. It's just this amorphous world and we got to figure yeah. it out. Well, and I think one of the things you said is, is really important is you got to just do the work and then but at the start it's always a leap of faith whatever that is like you don't know exactly how it's going to turn out but you know you take that first that first step you know and then just trust that if you stay and you show up and you do that every time you know then some momentum's going to start going it's you know it's just kind of a cliche it's that old maslow pyramid you know of where the the basic needs of hunger or you know clothing da 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 and then when you get to the top which is where we are the needs become, you know, because we have grocery stores, you know, there's no bombs yeah. going off in the street. So now it becomes self-actualization or asking the questions, you know, who am I? Why am I here? Da, 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 all those tough questions, right, mm. that, that the tribesmen don't have to ask because they're too, too busy, busy fighting off grizzlies. Right. <laughs> and to me, this is where something like martial arts or any kind of a discipline or art, period, the production of art, the, yes. this podcast, your comedy, whatever it is, is... And I don't. I can't really put my finger on why, but I think it's an it's an answer to this thing of being alone, being an individual, yeah. being unfettered from the tribal structure or from any structure where we're kind of floating in space. You know, like uh, George Clooney and uh, you know trying right. to figure out who am, you know who am I, why am I here, what do I want? Tough, tough questions. You know. Yeah.